I'm just showing you how I created the prompt action. So if we look at the dialogue in the logic app, then we're talking about, let's see, ask the user about this particular um, action where we prompt the user with a question and then we uh, get an answer back. And the interesting thing of this particular action is that it will um, keep the uh, logic app running all the while uh, we are waiting for a response from the user. Um, so basically it's creating a webhook subscription um, or it's creating a webhook that we can call from our API to continue the logic app. Um, so what does that look like? Well, from our connector, it looks pretty much like a regular um, action. And that's because the UI here does not support um, this uh, webhook construction to be created. Uh, and we have to do this from codes or from within the open API specification directly. So let me switch to the open API specification to show you how we've done that. So first, let me open the open API specification and we wait for the outline to load. And let's close, collapse everything. Then here we have the prompt action uh, defined. And basically uh, this part is the generic stuff. And what's interesting here is this particular thing. This um, tells the uh, parameter, this, which is called webhook URI in, in my case, but you can name it whatever uh, you want it to be. And you tell it that it's the XMS notification URL. Um, there's some other stuff in here, which I think is not necessary, but we can check that out um, right away. Um, and the other thing that is interesting to point out is that it has this XMS notification content similarly to um, a webhook subscription, a webhook trigger. Um, and, and which tells us in this case that we expect a message activity type to be sent back as a response to the, to the webhook that was created. 